Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, retarget from uh, UE5 animations to UE4. Uh, so let's uh, just go back. This is a continuation of the previous video. I'm going to delete that one. I mean, if I want to keep it, I'd obviously put it in here. Uh, what I want to do now is go to my characters folder under UE4, under rigs. Now, depends where you're starting at. I, there's normally a UE4 to UE5 here and a uh, basic rig uh, yellow it's uh, it's yellow uh, in my case i've already moved those and renamed them and uh, you can duplicate them if you use them for a secondary character i'm not going to do that in this video but in this one what i'm going to do and i'm going to keep it here uh, and i'm going to rename this um, so this is going to be my exo i'm going to just go exo character and I'll just remove the word Manny not to confuse me with if I did want to use Manny or whatever. So let's just go like that. There's still an M in there. Let's remove that. All right. So there we go. So right now what we have here is UE5 to UE4. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to change this to uh, my exo character. And I'm going to try out a couple animations. And as you can see, they work great. So what I want to do now is click Save and keep this for um, any uh, animations that I want to go get and retarget. So what I'm going to do is go to the content section. I'm going to go under characters. I'm going to go to mannequin because mannequin is UE5, okay, which is sometimes confusing. And I'm using Manny. And let's pretend I wanted this animation. Mm, that's pretty boring. Let's see. Let's see. Land. Well, let's go with this one. Okay. So, um, so running. I'm going to go here. So we got the run forward. I'm going to right click, retarget the animation asset, just like I did in the previous video. Except this time, I'm going to use retarget exo from five to four. So, and I'm going to. Just take two seconds here. I'm going to go here, keep this clean. I'm going to go to my exo character. I actually want to just show you that I had made a folder for animations. Um, and I'll put it right in there. Okay. So let's go back. Characters, mannequin, animation. I want this run animation here. And I need to, um, yeah, that's the one. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to right click, retarget the animation, duplicate animation asset, go and get this one and change this to the correct folder right here. Click retarget and let's have a look. Looks great. So now I have UE4 animations and UE5 animations that are in my project. The next step is basically um, going to your sequencer and using them as you see fit. So let's do that really quickly. Um, so I'm not doing a whole tutorial on sequencer. You should have watched this previously if you haven't already done it. Um, I press F2. I'll just call this 2222. Just keep it simple. And right now I'm going to go get my exo rig skeleton. There's several ways to do this, but I'm going to do it this way right now. Um, just drop them in here. And I'll just drop that. I'm going to go get one of the many animations. Maybe I got this run animation. And this one's not moving. Uh, and, you know, I won't get into that right here. So maybe that's what I want to do. And I can, on the transform track, click uh, a keyframe here for location. And I'm going to go at the end here. And I'll just click another keyframe here. And so we got this. And for some reason, maybe I want to stop here. And I'm going to go get an animation from one of the UE4 to... Oh, that's another jog. I don't want that. I already got a jog. So, well, maybe I can blend the two jogs and let's see what happens. Not a bad idea. And as we already covered, you can meld them in like this and let's see what happens. And we're going to move in and see if it sort of goes well in together. Let's go right here. And it goes from the UE5 to the UE4 animations quite smoothly. 
Now I would need to um, go down here and just move them along a little bit here. I'll say just about here. So it doesn't look silly because he kind of stops. He's still not done running. So probably I'm out of time here for the animation, but I could just extend this obviously um, and extend this a little bit out. Uh, but you get the idea. So, you know, I just want to show you that you can bring in a UE4 and a UE5 animation together, which is uh, once they're retargeted, uh, you know, and you've sent them out, you can use them as you want in Sequencer. So if you have any other questions, please let me know.